Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Red Archer Live and welcome back to the channel. In today's Payday 2 video, we've got a brand new developer update sharing some information on the upcoming DLC for Payday 2, as well as the return of Crime Fest. At least that's what it looks like. There is plenty to talk about in the dev update today, so we're not going to waste too much time. But just before we get into it, I would like to remind everyone that my merch store has just launched. For anyone who's interested in checking it out, there are some Payday theme designs, some non-Payday theme designs. I'm so proud of what I put up over the weekend and the amount of love it's gotten back. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just head over to redarchlive.com and if you like anything and pick it up let me know i'd be very interested to know what you pick up from the store but with that being said let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video and start off by rolling the intro So for those of you who aren't familiar with these dev updates, the way they typically work is they come out not long before a DLC update to give you a bit of a heads up on what's actually going to come in the content drop, the kind of things you'd expect, the DLC packs, that kind of thing, and also tease a bit in the future as well. For instance, when we had the update for Bullock's Mansion, we also were teased Infamy 3.0 at the same time. This time is no different. And as always, if you want to watch these developer updates yourself, a link is in the description. Feel free to go and give it a scope if you want to watch it without me talking about it. So let's start off with the immediate news, that being the new DLC packs that will be releasing, presumably this week maybe next week but knowing their patterns i would expect it in the next couple of days there is going to be a new heist vlad is furious after being kidnapped and he wants revenge he has learned that the triad owns a cash laden casino operation aboard a cruise ship called the black cat hitting this would not only give the gang a massive payday but it would also deal a significant damage to the triads and this will be the second heist at sea in Payday 2, and also the second casino heist, so make sure to bring your life vests as well as your gambling chips. Yes, we've got a brand new casino heist coming as the next update for Payday 2, and it's at sea. So it's the second at sea heist beyond the yacht heist, and the second casino heist beyond the Golden Green Casino. It's going to be an interesting combination, and hopefully it'll work very well. As the yacht heist and Golden Green Casino are two of my favourite stealth heists, I love them both very, very much. So to get some kind of hybrid of the two sounds very exciting, and I hope it is good in execution as it is in concept. This is part three of the four part City of Gold campaign, so the campaign will finish presumably in early 2022. I don't imagine they'll spin another heist round in the next two months. I think it'll probably be a bit too close to call. So this might be the last new heist we get in 2021. I don't know for sure yet though. But as I said, there is more than one DLC pack being teased. Yes, a brand new Taylor pack DLC will be coming out with this update as well. Speaking of, uh, Elizabeth, what are we wearing for this glamorous event? Well, you can't expect the Payday Gang to hit up a fancy casino without new and up-to-date threads. Alongside the heist, you can grab the Mega City Tailor Pack with two new outfits, four new masks, and four new gloves. And each outfit has four variants and is inspired by martial arts. Those look stunning. The gloves are to go into custody for. And the content seems pretty good to me. I quite like the long coats on those two outfits. The other two with the kind of padded jacket type things, I'm not really a big fan of, but to be fair, it's of the similar ilk of some things that have released more recently than I've been too keen on, and that's just my opinion. And while the gloves look good, I've got to be honest, am I the only one who's getting a bit tired of gloves being added now? The only reason being is that the way they've organized it in black market with everything being black and white without mods, it's impossible to find the gloves you want because there's so many of them now. Is that just me? I think it's about time they at least try and add some tabs to that to try and split it up between DLCs or something. Because honestly, at this point, it just scrambles my brain trying to look for a pair of gloves. I think I just give up half the time now. They do look cool. I just really think better organization is needed. I just do. And the same really goes for outfits at this point, I'll be honest. I think really the time has come where both of those systems could do with some more organization to make things look better. If weapon colors have tabs, then outfits and gloves should too. But either way, the Mega City Tailor Pack does look good. Like I said, I do like the content in it, and I am looking forward to getting my hands on it in the coming days slash weeks. And as always, with every update, Overkill will no doubt send me codes for myself to use and also to give away to community. So stay tuned on this channel for a giveaway. I will no doubt be running on both a Gleam giveaway that I've done before where you enter via all the different websites and also giving away possibly through my Twitch and through my Discord. So if you're not following me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Live, get over there. And if you're not on my Discord server, that's discord.gg slash Live. There are a few more things in the video that I'm not really going to talk about too much because I don't really need to. For one thing, Sebastian talks you through the pre-planning as he's done in previous videos. So if you want to get a heads up on how the pre-planning looks, in this casino yacht heist then feel free to go and watch the video you'll get all the insight that you need and Liz also takes the time to talk about future content updates that will be free basically just updates to overhaul weapon balancing or to make certain features of the game better and they're saying that they're working on more of those to try and improve the quality of life of payday 2 and gal fung smuggler pack number three is also touched upon very briefly but only to mention the weapon charms and how almir thinks more need to be added including his toast so that combined with a clip they made of someone typing medic bag charm when in the comments confirms that there will be more weapon charms later down the line and it also confirms that no doubt Almir's toast and the medic bag will be included in those charms being added at a later date and time. I don't think that means the 
this update, it sounds to me like it's going to be one at some point in the further future. But that is not all. It's time to talk about the last and honestly most surprising thing that's come out of this dev update, and that being that Crime Fest could well be back in 2021. After there not being a Crime Fest in 2019 for obvious reasons, Overkill weren't even making payday content back then, and then again there not being one in 2020 for reasons I discussed in a video at the time, it seems as though Overkill are going to make Crime Fest a thing again in 2021. Whatever it may be, the event is going to last 10 days and will start on Monday, October 18th, lasting until October 28th. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the starting date is the day Payday the Heist first released on PlayStation 3 back in 2011, 10 years ago. It seems as though they're bringing back Crime Fest, potentially to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Payday franchise. Which is quite exciting. I didn't think they'd ever do Crime Fest again with them focusing so much on Payday 3 now, but it's good to see that they've changed their minds on that. What will be in the event? I don't know for sure. There's no doubt going to be some kind of birthday celebration for Payday the Heist, and there may also be some content added every day or every other day. I imagine it'll probably be game updates every two days of the 10, because I remember people started complaining on PC that they were getting updates every day and how annoying it was, which I kind of get, but also it was cool getting content every day, at least to me. So the biggest presumption I can make is that there'll be a game update every two days during that event and then there'll be some kind of filler in between like live streams that kind of thing who knows but I could be wrong I'm just theorizing right now based on the information we've been provided and that is not very much so I'm having to work off very little either way it's exciting to see a big event coming up for payday I'm very excited to see what it will be and I'm also excited for this new DLC pack it's good to see some more stuff being added to the game because of this 10 day event happening I don't know whether that means the update will definitely come out this week or whether the game update will be part of the 10 day event it could go either way but that's why I'm not really sure when the update will come out because I don't know how overkill are planning it the only thing I would say is that the 10 day events historically have all been full of free content, so I don't really think they put a paid DLC in there, which makes me think it's more likely the update will come out this week, so there's space for free stuff next week, but that's just a logical assumption and nothing more. But that wraps up everything I wanted to talk about in today's developer update. What do you guys think of the update? Let me know down in the comment section below. Are you excited for the new DLC? Does the heist sound cool? Does the tailor pack sound cool? Let me know what you think about the best and worst parts of this dev update and the future content. And more importantly, do you think Crime Fest is back, or do you think it's going to be something different to what we've seen in the past. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It shows me you like this content and would like to see more. And if you're new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, then make sure to click that subscribe button because I will be making videos for every game update coming soon, whether it be the update this week or next week, whenever the DLC comes out, or all of the potential updates we might get during this Crime Fest that we might well be getting in just a week's time. Again, make sure you follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Live because I'll know that I'll be streaming the update when it comes out, whenever it might be this week or next week. Again, I still don't know for sure. There's the Discord server at discord.gg slash Live and the merch store at redarcherlive.com but that's enough from me thank you all very much for watching i will see you all very soon no doubt with another payday 2 video so until then look after yourselves stay safe and i will see you all soon thanks for watching <laughs>